Who is he? What is he? What horrendous twist of fate brought that bilious behemoth to ruin my life? What kind of sick warped mind lurks in that Neanderthal's ugly skull? What? Good morning, Mr. Oppenheimer. What? Who are you talking to? Oh, good morning, Yvonne. No one. Say, Yvonne, does Perry know I'm late? Clock! Yes, Mr. Oppenheimer. I think he does. I am the Tick. I am a superhero. Good morning, shopkeeper. To be a superhero, one must have a secret identity. To have a disguise. One must have a disguise. Thank you for your contribution, citizen. You will be reimbursed. This ingenious disguise enables me to blend into the crowd, to work among mortal men. The police have made no comment on the many sightings of the so-called Cape Wonder, who appeared last night for the first time. This video footage was taken by a bystander at the scene of an armed robbery last night. Clock! As you can see, this Cape Wonder has powers far beyond those of mortal men. Clock is the Cape Wonder! In an unrelated story, two idiots were run over by a subway train earlier this morning. This is amazing! Clock has found a secret of success! I must go to him! I must go to the Weekly World Planet. The local ninja union has demanded shorter working hours and free dry cleaning. Negotiations begin. These photos stink to high heaven, Billy. I can't use a single one of them. Yes, tyrannical overlord. And stop calling me that! Uh, excuse me, hello? Hello, I'm... Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You're Mr. Ned, the new crossword editor, right? Well... You're early, but that's alright. You can do next week's crosswords. Can you start today? Well, okay, I guess. Don't guess, son. Be decisive! Okay, sure. Billy, show Mr. Ned the ropes. And don't forget the staff meeting at 1.30. Mr. Who? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, Billy, what's a crossword? Don't Billy me. You might fool the chief with your ingenious disguise, but not me. What are you? Why are you here? You can't possibly suit through my disguise, Billy. This is a hypnotic tie. You're getting sleepy, Bill. Very sleepy. That pathetic parlor trick won't work on me, Mr. Ned. Billy, where's my desk? O over there, next to Mr. Oppenheimer's... Clock! There you are! I've been looking for you, you big dickens! What? 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 What are you doing here? I saw you on TV, Clock. I came to team up with you. You can be the sidekick, okay? Clock, now is not the time for a manly embrace. We have work to do. Damn, it's 1.30. The meeting is starting. I'll deal with you later. Cape Wonder Stun City. This morning's headline, people, is the biggest story of the year, of the decade. If we get an exclusive on this one, the sky is the limit. The city loves this guy. They want to know who he is. They want to know where he is. Stop doing that. I want to know where he is. Said. Stop that! <laughs> Stop horsing around, Ned. Hey, but... Hey! He hit me! This is big, people. I want you people out there with your eyes and ears open. I want a World Planet exclusive. But he hit me! Oh, stop your whining, man, and get back to work! It's almost press time! I only have minutes to get this in! I wonder what clock keeps in his desk. Hmm, this drawer is stuck. What is this? Aha! A glowing crystal! My god! It's Maron Brando! No, Karu. I am your father. Bon all. Listen carefully, son. You are not of Earth. You are from the distant planet, Otter Creek. You possess powers far beyond those of mortal man. 
big time powers. And you must use those powers with great discretion. You must lead the children of Earth as the Shepherd does lead the seven eyed Moav Ginks. You must defend your foster planet to the death. And while we're on that subject, oh son, beware the deadly green otter Kriegite, for it will set your strength and powers dry. You know I saw the last tango in Paris. Pretty risque stuff, MB. The accumulated sciences and arts of Otter Creek are at your fingertips, my son. Use them well. Someone's coming! End of slide one. Turn over crystal and proceed at the sound of the tone. Uh, hello, Clark. Uh, I needed a pencil and I thought you might keep some in your desk. Why don't I believe you? Sorry about your draw, but it was stuck. It was locked! Oh, whoops! What is that? What did you do with... Oh, no. My Fortress of Fortitude! What did you do?! Well, Clark, I think it's kind of obvious. I've got to go downstairs. Do you want anything? You're not going anywhere. Luckily, by removing the crystal, I can turn the fortress into mere ice. Who are you talking to, Clark? We have to talk. You and I. I'd love to. Do you follow field hockey? Not here. Too conspicuous. On the roof. On the roof? Clark, I love roofs. Great roof, Clark. Let's jump around on it a bit. Look at the city, Tick. Crime runs rampant in its streets. Yeah, crime! Murderers, rapists, muggers, pimps, bigamists, philatelists. It calls out for a protector. Yeah, I know. Me! This city is mine, Tick. I protect it. It is my destiny. Nah, -uh. it's my destiny. Be reasonable, Tick. What can you do? You're strong, sure, and nigh invulnerable, but that's it! You can't see through walls. You don't have my very hot vision, do you? Well, no, but... You can't fly, you can't put out huge fires with your lungs, you can't make diamonds out of coal, can you? No, no, I can't, but I have gadgets. I have a secret crime viewfinder, this hypnotic tie, a straw... And... Otto Creekite! Yes, Clark, the source of your only weakness. Otto Creekite! My strength! I can feel it draining away! Too weak to fly! I'm growing weaker every second! Can't use my see-through vision! Or my very hot vision! Things getting blurry! Out of focus! I only have seconds to throw myself over the edge of the building and get out of that Otter Creek kind's deadly- It's only a green eraser. What? What? <laughs> it's an eraser, Clark. Good one, huh? Ned! Get in here! Where's Clark? I'm not sure. He might still be on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's you I have to talk to, Ned. Now, I don't like to beat around the bush. Me neither. You know what they say. Spare the rod and kick the shrubbery around. Yeah. Yeah, right. So I'm just gonna say it straight out. Ned, I... What are you looking at? Nothing, Perry. Well, as I was saying, Ned, I'm gonna have to let you go. Why? Well, you keep beating up Billy. You keep trying to beat up Clark. I don't know what happened in the press room, but I'll bet you're behind it. To top it off, your crosswords don't make any sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure Furblig isn't a seven-letter word for flu. And besides, there's only two words here. Furblurg and Peps. Yeah, but they cross. I hate getting fired from newspapers. Well, Clark's fortress melts. There's nothing here for me now. So for this eraser and Clark. Clark is sick. He's tense, overworked. He needs help. I've got to pull him out of his shell. Going down. Pull the door, please. Going down. 
close, please, God, close! Fear not, cowering worm. I won't harm you. I'd like to, but I won't. No. Oh, no. You know, Bill, I'm actually on your side. I'm supposed to protect the weak and downtrodden, like yourself. Ha! Now you're blind! Helpless! Take that abomination! Ow! What do you mean, abomination? This is my floor. Say, where the clock park his car? Never mind, I'll find it myself. Clark will love this! The elevator's here! What? Hop a baby! Clark, hi! Look, I made you an ashtray! I'm... Yes, Clark? I'm going to kill you! Clark, what's wrong? Do you already have one? I can return it. How about a sweater? You can't kill me, Clark. You're a superhero. You've got a secret identity to think about. I hate you! This is good, Clark. You're getting a lot of aggression. How do you feel? You're, you're just like Woody Woodpecker! What? Woody Woodpecker, Woody Woodpecker, the bird in the cartoons! Oh. He was so darned obnoxious, I want to reach into the TV and crush that little red-headed jerk's skull. And people call me crazy. Clark, get a hold of yourself! I always felt so sorry for the walrus. All he wanted to do was have a barbecue. But you, you're just like Woody. Obnoxious. Clark, don't do anything we'll regret later. Goodbye. Oh, Clark, that's the way you want it. Put him up! Let's go! Take you down! You see, Clark? You don't really want to kill me, do you? No! My disguise! My secret identity hypnotic disguise glasses! The elevator! I only have seconds to find my glasses and weld them together with my very hot vision! Mr. Oppenheimer? Is something wrong? No, no, Billy. Everything is fine. Mr. Oppenheimer, you look different. No, I don't, Billy. Did you get a haircut? Billy, where is Mr. Ned? Is he here? I didn't see him. He must have left. One of these days, Woody. What, Mr. Oppenheimer? <laughs> Nothing, Billy. One of these days. We've got confirmation. An unknown entity is leaving the building. We suspect he's had a confrontation with Factor X. You mean we've got two supernatural entities? Christ! We've got to get on top of this. We don't want another New York on our hands. Well, should we stay with Factor X, or...? This one isn't as powerful as Factor X, is he? No, but... Good. Just stay with Factor X if this other one makes trouble. We'll have to catch up with him later. But sir, something's wrong with the second entity's probability projections. 